In the figure above, triangle ABC is inscribed in the circle with center O and diameter AC. So AC is the diameter right over there. If AB is equal to AO, so this is equal to that right over there. AO is the radius, so AB is the same length as the radius. What is the degree measure of angle ABO? So the main realization here is that this length right over here, AO, the length of segment AO, that's a radius. So this is a radius right over here. It goes from the center of the circle to the, to the circle itself, to point A. Well, this is also a radius of a circle. This is also a radius of the circle. So this is going to have the same length. And they already told us that AB has the same length as AO, which is a, which because AO is a radius and OB is also a radius, it's going to have the same length as OB or BO. And so then what do we have? We have an equilateral triangle. Well, what do we know about an equilateral triangle? All of the sides are have the same length, but also all of the all of these interior angles are going to have the same measure. So that angle is equal to that angle, is equal to that angle. And all three of them, because they have to add up to 180 degrees, and you have three equal angles adding up to 180 degrees, each of these have to be 60 degree. Each of these must be 60 degree angles. So angle ABO, which is the one that they're asking about, is going to be a 60 degree angle.